Hi, my engineering management students. In today's video, we're going to make a PDM diagram given an activities precedence table. Let's use what you have learned in the last video. Let's go. We're going to make a process diagram using circles. We can fill this with the color and edit text. And this is activity A. From activity A, we have two activities, B and C. So let's copy this. This is activity B and C. Let's insert the arrows. We can make it thicker. So now you can see that the, the arrows are already connected. Then activity D proceeds after B. And E proceeds after C. Let's just connect that there. Let's change this to E. F proceeds after C. Okay, this is C. So there's an F. Let's copy it. Paste. So this is F. So we follow the convention of uh, linking from to, so from to in the end and then the beginning of the note. Okay, so G proceeds after D and E. This is D and this is E. Let's copy this and make now G. So perhaps we are going to move this here and then Let's move E there. And this is G. Copy. Okay, so let's insert this there and here. And lastly, we have H that proceeds from F and G. So F, this is F, and this is G. That's the last. Paste. And that is H. Okay, so maybe we can transfer it here. So there. So now that we have created our process flow, we can now make our PDM network diagram. We need six squares. Let's color it light green. And this is the activity. And the, below it is the duration in days. 
let's follow the, the process flow that we have made here using circles and arrows. So we're ready to make our PDM diagram. Let's make it smaller. We start here for A. We make another one here and another one here. One is here. There's one at the center and one that proceeds after this and here and here. Let's go put this out of the way. We can copy the arrow. So we can change we can change it. B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is G, followed by F, and finally H. For the duration of A, F4, we didn't, okay. We can center everything here. Okay, so. B has a duration, so that one, C, F4, D, F4, E, F4, G, F4, F, F4, H F4. Okay. Let's copy the arrows. Copy. Okay. Paste. Okay, let's copy the one. And let's move this one. Okay. So there. We can move this lower, for instance. There. Now that you are able to make a PDM diagram given a activities precedence table, so we're now ready to complete this uh, next video to learn what to place in these other four boxes of the nodes. Don't forget to recreate this process diagram and the PDM network diagram and to write your name and to submit it to me in Google Classroom. So you're ready for the next video. Learn with Red.